Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and in this video we're going to take a look at the OpenXL model which is a new unofficial model to do open posts in XDXL and I, here I have a small workflow that comes with the image there is a bailarina image that you can load I'm going to show you later how to do it and basically it loads this workflow with all these nodes it's super simple and as you can see, this open posting can drive the hands, the body, and the face. So it's quite complete. It doesn't work 100% of the time. I will say like 80, 70% of the time. But it's a great step into getting us there in uh, using open post, which is like the most important model. And now we have this. So I think we are complete in Confi UI now to just uh, switch into SDXL with this thing coming. And as you can see here, I have my character Sapphiro. I did a lot of, of this character. This is actually a 3D character that I made before. So I made a video on how to make a Lora with Sapphiro. And if you want, just go and watch that. It's a very recent video of how to train XDXL Loras. And that's with the low how method. So it gives you like a small file. The training doesn't take that long in comparison with other things because this Mm, this has a particular training. Not many people is actually doing like the real uh, LoRa training. They are teaching you something that is already training the base stable diffusion, and that's like a bit of a cheating uh, because the training is already there. But if you want to train something that is not in XDXL, which is the idea, then go and watch that video. You will learn a couple of things and. In this, you can see how the model came with the same pose. So it's not, I think, open pose is still not uh, rendering the, the feet. But it does render the face, the body, and the hand, as I was explaining. And let's go and see here in this hugging face repo, the ControlNet open pose XDXL 1.0. Download this open pose Excel to save tensors to your model ControlNet folder and also download this out by Larina PNG because when you drop this file inside Confi UI in the interface it will load the, the workflow and here he has some examples of how to do open posts and if you follow the vote in Twitter he has like a, a cool webtoon going on so go and check it out if, if you want to support him because he is actually a a person that is contributing a lot to the community and it's super cool if you can uh, support him so let's go here and see uh, the, the folders and basically if you want to load your folder as i was explaining before you can just come in here in extra model paths and this is something super cool about comfy is that it has like a has a way to do things is zero stress so you come in here and put your automatic 11 11 a model folder or sdnx like i'm doing here and that's all that you need to do every time you drop uh, more uh, models into these folders it will be picked up by Confi ui and if you don't have the uh, automatic 11 11 you can just come in here in Confi ui models control net and drop your file here and that's how we will pick it up and to explain how to load this thing is very easy you basically come in control j and get that bailarina file that i told you to download just drag it in Confi ui bang and you have your Confi ui uh, workflow there just close this thing and coming here into this uh, node and come coming here and just put some image maybe just go into your text to image folder from stable diffusion and select one of the images maybe this one here and leave this prompt that they say here the bailarina let's see how it how it, it does and click q prompt and now you can see like the green things are coming on this uh, when they are green is basically working on this node and you can see render this position like my character Let's see how that is going to come up in the final render. Yeah, awesome. So it's picking up the position almost perfect, like you can see. 
Technically speaking, the pose is just except this uh, right leg is not, it has like a bend, but in here it's totally straight. Anyway, it's doing a good job in the prompt. Maybe I can put some details more in the prompt to make it even more clear. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was useful, please subscribe and like this uh, video. I'll be making more things for Confi UI and I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Thank you very much for watching.